Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. I see our Superior Court Clerk, Linda Pierce. Did you want to say something, Linda? I just wanted to say first, thank you, a happy birthday, and I am so honored to be here with you again. And I would like to mention that I've, through all the years that I've uh, known Pam and participated on her shows, I always learned something. And the good thing about it is it's always a positive message about our community yes. and about all the good things that the people in our community are accomplishing for each other and for, and for our city as well. And I think that is extremely unique for someone to still have a show on television that focuses on what's positive and good in our community. And I think that that is probably one of the biggest accomplishments anyone could ever say that they've achieved is basically being able to do something like that and focus that kind of attention on what we're doing right. And so I want to congratulate you again, Pam, and happy birthday. Tonight I'm going to call Ms. Alberta Harvey to come forward. She's got some wonderful things in her book she's going to bless us with. So I'm glad to be on a platform with other <coughs> authors. I'm Alberta Harvey, and I started my career as a registered nurse, and then I retired, and then I started writing. And I've published three books. This is the one that I put last I've published, and uh, I'm working on another one. And so I'm just glad to be here, and I've known Pam for a while, and so I just want everybody to know, if anybody likes poetry, let me know, and I'll give you a card, and you can get a book. All right? Thank you. We're going to get a chance to hear from my ghostwriter. I'm, I'm looking for her to ghostwrite more people's books. I could not have moved the book as fast as I did. I'm going to uh, give this mic over to Elaine Johnson. I thank her for God blessing her to help me bring my book out. Well, happy birthday, Pam. Thank you. Um, it's good to see everybody. And uh, yes, I helped Pam write her book. And uh, it was one of the most fun projects I've worked on. I hope everybody reads it and enjoys it. Um, I'm, um, I hear a lot of people tell me I could write a story. And, and you can. But if you look at any book, including starting with Pam's, uh, you'll see on the front page, I thank this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. It's a huge project to write a book, and it takes a lot of people. I'm part of the Chattahoochee Valley Writers Conference, which Alberta Harvey is also one of the founding members. Um, Ty Manns, who wasn't able to be here, but he's a local film producer, is one of um, our speakers. And we're going to have a writers conference this Saturday at the Macon Road Library and we would like to invite any inspiring writer to come. Um, so thank you very much. And that, I'm gonna call up Dr. Wayne Kung. He's also a book author, and he also has Zoe Pediatrics, so he's a kid's doctor. So I wanna go ahead and welcome him to Unity. Well, happy birthday, Pam, thank to you. one of the great movers and shakers of Columbus, and uh, it's, it's certainly an honor to know you, and I appreciate your support very much. Um, the mission statement for Zoe Pediatrics is children do not have to be sick to get better. So um, we hopefully provide great services to children to make sure that they um, prosper and thrive. Uh, now, in this, this uh, month's newsletter, we publish a newsletter every month, I want to bring your attention to this little article because personally I was floundering in high school. I didn't know how people, teachers always said, go study. Teachers and parents said, go study. And I never knew what that meant. You know, what am I supposed to do? Anyway, I developed this technique of, with note cards. And believe me, once I learned how to use note cards, I was never without 100 note cards in my pocket. I want to, you know, tell you that people don't learn in big chunks. We learn in little pieces. And um, every minute you have, you can learn something. I love this poem by Benjamin E. Mays, and it says, I have only just a minute, just 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, 
don't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it, give account if I abuse it, just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. So what are you going to do with your minute? And just let me tell you that there are lots of good, good information here about how to help your, chil your children learn. And I also appreciate um, Pam including me in the, in the book conference because I wrote a book about Bad Boy from Jamaica. And all of you have heard about Jamaica. It's a, it's a novel about Jamaican culture. So um, I, I brought five copies with me. And all copies that are sold is going to go towards Pam's uh, organization. So please, um, it's $15 each. So please uh, buy them and we'll give the returns to uh, Pam. But thank you for including me, Pam. All right. Let's talk about this good sugar food. Let's welcome sugar's people over here. How healthy they keep me looking so fine and thick. <laughs> I mean, I even look good on a pair of sticks when I eat me some of that sugar, 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 sugar food. Let's give Chip a minute to come over and put my notes over here. Um, I come on after Steve Harvey in the morning. I, I hold you down while you're working, uh, right before Doug Banks takes you to the house. I've been in Columbus since 2000, 99, since 1999. Um, I got tricked. That's how I got down here. Um, <laughs> Uh, one of the DJ, Michael Soul from Foxy 105. I met him. I was hosting a Jay-Z concert. And he's like, man, I love your swag. I love to have you in Columbus. And I was like, I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I said. I'm not moving to no Ohio. <laughs> and then he was like, no, Columbus, Georgia is right down the street. Come on down. And I came down here, and I've been down here ever since. And I love it down here. It is what it is right there. I do, I'm the voice and the face of the CW Jabama. So I'm the dude that pop in and say, this is a great show. Check it out tonight. That's me that you see on there. Um, and that's about it. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy dude. I'm, I don't have a sad story. I ain't got a book or nothing like that. I'm just working and keeping it moving. That's it. How about that? All right, tell us what you're going to do this. Okay. You need me? Yes, yeah, stay right here, stay okay. right here. <laughs> tell us about what you're going to prepare for the audience. I'm pe uh, prepare a uh, pitch cob for y'all today. And it is wonderful. Take us through the steps of that peach cobbler. Okay, I have a can of, 12 ounce can of peach cobbler. And in, in the mix, I have nutmeg, sugar, cinnamon, a little bit of flour and some brown sugar. And I'm mixing all this together in the bowl of peaches. Is there a certain type of brown sugar? Just a light brown sugar. <laughs> Mix it all together. Make sure it's mixed up nicely. And got a little bit of got a little bit of margarine in it. And I'm going to pour it over here in this bowl. Right in here. I guarantee y'all she left something out. <laughs> you know how they do. You get home, do the same thing. It just don't taste right. They left something out. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't leaving nothing out of this. <laughs> and I got my uh, pie crust shell. I got it, some margarine on it. It be golden brown when you cook it. That's the stuff keep you fine and thick, you know, real I'm thick. You. So you just cut the pie crust shell up in slices and put butter on it? Put it in the oven. Let it cook. Let it do its thing. Work. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot to mention my secret ingredients. We got What's a nice secret? secret ingredient. What's the secret? It's a secret. <laughs> I told y'all, I know something. <laughs> This smell like peach cobbler right here, and it ain't in the oven or nothing. So that I already tell you. It is gonna, it gonna be good. Mm -hmm. So what kind, of, what kind of dough are you using? It's just a pie crust shell. Is this Pillsbury? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, I just need to know. <laughs> I go get Pillsbury, and that ain't what you're using. It ain't gonna taste the same. I just need to know. All right. 
I'm going to hurry up and get through with this so I can put it in the oven. So does this mean we're going to get a chance to eat the uh, prop, as they say on TV? Yes, you is. I got this going to be for you all. How long, how long do we let it bake? About 40 minutes. 40 minutes, okay. Any particular type of peaches you use? That's what I'd like to know. No. Del Monte? Now, that would be good, but you could use any peaches. Any peaches and all. It make, as long as you got all your ingredients in there, it's, it's fine. Do we, keep, do we use the syrup, too, to come in the can? <laughs> Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see the yeah, you see the details, you hear it. Mm -hmm. If you want to, did you use the syrup? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. All the syrup. Yep. Okay. Okay. Put that in the oven. Let it come to a golden brown, and it's wonderful. And y'all will enjoy it. Now, you know this TV, you're supposed to have one ready so we can just slide it over here like it's been done. Well, it's in the oven. I can't help all that. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to let DJ Chip go to his radio show, but I just wanted y'all to see him because y'all hear him in the corner. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. You do know the experts at Midas will tell you what needs fixing now and what can wait, right? Like, I don't know, brakes? Of course I do. Trust the Midas Touch for brakes, tires, oil, everything. I'm a fan of this plateau. I'm a fan of things that go. I'm a fan of all things kitschy. I'm a fan of Lionel Richie. Hello. I'm a fan of DQ. DQ Bakes. I'm a fan of warm ciabatta. I'm a fan of cold and hotter. Melty snacks, snacks on my snack break. I'm a fan of DQ Bakes. New artisan style sandwiches, snack belts, and desserts. Hot out of the oven and only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. I'm a fan! When your child is sick, you take them to the doctor, right? Well, at Zoe Pediatrics, we don't just take care of sick kids. We want to keep the healthy ones healthy. At Zoe Pediatrics, we're in the business of prevention. We would love if when our children are 100 years old, they could say they were never sick a day in their life because of what they learned at Zoe Pediatrics. Don't wait for sickness. Children don't have to be sick to get better. Good doctors treat illness. Really great doctors prevent disease. Zoe Pediatrics, 10th Avenue at 17th Street. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoke fresh on our grill daily. Or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam willis Hovey. We also have Pastor Belinda Clemens is here. I've been knowing her for a very long time. She's got a <laughs> women's conference coming up. So tell my viewers about it. Good morning. Happy birthday, Pam. Thank Happy you. birthday to you. I'm so godly. First, I would like to say I'm so godly proud of Pam and what God have did in your life. And you hadn't saw the end of the story. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm standing before you about a Women's of Purpose conference that I'm bringing to the city, and I want you to be a part of it. It'll be October the 1st and October the 2nd at our new location, which is 3503 17th Avenue. If you come down Manchester Express, you would see the Sun Inc. on the right and Pizza Hut on the left. You would take that light to the left, come down eight blocks, and we are on the corner. We purchased the old Sherwood Methodist Church. We've been there for two years. God blessed us. But October the 1st will be our opening conference. Dr. Ann Hartman will open us up in our worship. Our theme this year is letting go of stress. How many of you ladies have stress? But that Friday night is going to be open for everybody. We're going to do a twist. That Friday night, 
the comedian, Christian comedian, Small Fry, Fry would be with us. I'm, some of you may have heard her, been, saw her on BET. She'd been on stand-up comedy. She'd been on Lil' Apollo. She will be our special guest that night with Christian clean comedian. You can just laugh your heart out. And then we're going to have spoken word by Antoine Solo. He does jazz spoken word. So you don't want to miss that. And our host for the evening will be our own future. She will be there to host us that night. Come out and be a part. We will have vendors. If anyone is interested in being part of that night, please let us know. You can contact me at 706-325-0371. And if you mention that you hurt me at Pam, we will give you a 10% discount on your ticket. Amen. The ticket is $20 in advance and 25 at the door. Thank you. Now I'm going to have a man that's been, I mean, really, he gave me an opportunity to start just being on TV and airways and so much. When people open up their doors to let you be on their show, they don't know what doors they're opening up to change your life. And he is Senator Ed Harbison. I am so glad he came and surprised me too. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday, dear Pam. Happy birthday to you. Hey, I, I'm going to start my singing career. <laughs> it is so glad to be here today with my real, real good friend, uh, Pam. She is an inspiration to me. I, I think she is a role model for what young people ought to be about. She has really anchored herself in the task of dedicating herself to getting something done, being positive, and not worrying about what she does not have, but using what she has to get more of what she needs. And I think that's just a wonderful thing. I just admire you a lot. Uh, I had two committee meetings today, but I had to be with you as I told you I was going to be here. But I'm just really proud of you, Pam. I'm proud of your family, your dad, your mom, and, and everybody concerned. And thank you so much. And you know my number, OK? You all would just give me a call and let me know when you need me to be there. And God willing, I'll be there, okay? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Excuse me for leaving. God bless you. And I think I have Ms. Robinson coming forward all the way from Wardrop Church. Amen. Hey, Pam. Thank hey. you so much for having me and letting me come to your birthday party. Thank you. And I also want to give a shout out to Reverend Mike Knowles, who shared this slot with me at Waldrop yes. Memorial. But I'm a private practice uh, professional counselor, and my office is at Waldrop Church. And um, I just wanted to give a shout out to them for letting me use space for an office and um, taking, taking clients and referrals. So um, thank you. What else do we need to talk about? How they going to find you? Um, you can find me on the website at um, aalr.net, and um, that stands for absolutely amazing, Leonette Robertson. And um, I have an email address, Leonette Robertson at Gmail. Um, the, uh, and my phone number is 229-386-2976. Uh, I can put a stack of business cards, maybe. Sure. Okay, um, and yeah, my office is at Waldrop, so you can just, you know, if you need to make a referral or whatever, um, give me a call or shoot me an email. Um, I'm not real complicated to find. Out here. So, anyway, thank you. Thank you. We have a lady from Benchmark that she brought here that's going to be saying a few kind words. So uh, come on over to the mic. Tell us what you got going on in our city. Hi, I'm Trina Trice. I'm here representing Benchmark Human Services. And we're a mobile crisis team that operates within the state of Georgia. And what we do is respond to calls in the community where people are suicidal or homicidal. But on Saturday, we're partnering with some special agencies to do something called Celebrate Recovery. So we're going to get together at Lake Bottom Park from 12 o'clock noon until 6 p.m. And there is going to be praise and testimonials from people that are recovering from substance abuse, mental health abuse, just whatever the challenges are that they're overcoming and celebrating. All of that is going to go down right here in Columbus, Georgia on Saturday from noon to 6 at Lake Bottom. So, you know, um, they're asking that you come out and join the voices for recovery, recovery. Um, and if you can uh, set aside some time on your schedule on Saturday, please join us because it's going to be a wonderful opportunity to hear those testimonials of people in our community just like us that are recovering. 
So Saturday, 12 to 6, Lake Bottom Park. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come on in to Sugars for a sweet taste of Southern cooking. You will be taken back to Sunday dinner at Grandma's house with every bite. Daily specials serving fried chicken, collards, black-eyed peas, also melt-in-your-mouth cornbread. You will want to ask for seconds. Also try one of our homemade desserts. You will be in sweet, sweet heaven. Sugars offers catering for all your corporate, church, and family gatherings. They would do all the work and save you all the trouble. Sugars, a taste of Southern cooking. For over 25 years, the Bug Patrol at All Star Pest Control has protected thousands of families' homes from pests and rodents. Although most treatments have no odor and are environmentally friendly, our high technology products and methods get absolute results. And we guarantee it! All Star Pest Control, over 25 years of guaranteed protection. The average home has more than five devices connected to the internet. Is your internet strong enough to keep up? At WOW, we can boost your internet with speeds up to 110 megabits per second. So you can handle it all, and then some. That's WOW. Not what you'd expect from a cable company. Find your perfect speed at WOWWay.com. Hello, I'm Pastor Willis. And I'm Co-Pastor Emma Willis. And we welcome you to be a part of our ministry. We have a wonderful, illustrated teaching and preaching we want to share with you. And, and also we sharing with you our dance ministry and also our choir and our outreach ministry. And we have a wonderful Sunday school. And we welcome you to come and be a part of this ministry. God bless you. Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. Roger Tinker from All Star Pest Control. He's First thing, happy birthday, and never, never do we not give each other a hug. Oh, thank you. I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, we talk about what's good for the community, and I'm going to start off this way and try to do it in four minutes. I have heart condition. And I have learned over the years, if I take my medicine, that I do real well. That disease does not rear its ugly head. Now, when I grew up, I didn't ask for that condition, but I have it. Well, the other people in this room, that when they were little kids, they didn't say, I'm going to grow up and be an addict. Mm -hmm. They did not ask for it. Right. But through a series of different events, they became addicts. And I'm going to almost rub somebody wrong, but I'm going to come back and unrub you. I get really upset with somebody that says, oh, she could quit that. She could get a blessing. If she prayed, she'd quit that. I'm here to tell you, that's not going to do it. And the churches in the area understand that that when chemical dependency takes your body over, it blocks out the power of the spirit. Now, I'm also going to tell you that the 12-step program works. But I'm going to tell you how to make the 12-step program work better. And I think a few folks have figured it out. I know they have. I belong to a church that does 2,700 meetings a week around the world. They only do one meeting. But what I'm going to tell you is my, the, the charter for 12-step program does not allow religion of any type in their program. I'm going to tell you that on 3007 Howard Avenue, my wife and I involved in being group leaders for an addiction recovery program. And because it's a church-based program, we can use, and we have permission from AA and NA to do it half for over 35 years, we can use the atonement of Jesus Christ that ties a 12-step program together. Uh -huh. So now, if anybody 
I will say if you need 90 and 90, we don't do 90 meetings. But what this does is it makes the 12 steps work when you integrate Christ into it. And for people that need maintenance meetings, this is a wonderful maintenance meeting. I'm a recovering addict of over 30 years. And what I learned is I'm either using or I'm going to a program or I'm about to use. So I know that I need to go. And I'll leave you those thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dr. Paz Turner, I saw her over on the side. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Dr. Paz Turner. I'm a counseling psychologist here in Columbus. I'm the owner of APT Counseling Service. I provide counseling to children, family, um, individual, psychological testing, educational testing, tutoring, whatever you need. I recently published this book based on 10 years of research and it's Childhood Sexual Abuse, Pathway to Mental Health Issues and Delinquent Behavior. It takes you on a journey of a person who mainly, we talk about include males also, but the focus were on females who were offenders. And it, it takes you on the pathway um, from the time, childhood abuse, and the um, mental health issues, the behavior problems that they go through. Um, this book is available on Amazon, Kindle, and um, I also have, have books here. It's, um, the books are $14. Let everybody say praise the Lord. We finna let you go, but if we sit here and there are so many uh, visions in this, in this place, and we asking God to bless everybody that has something before the Lord, their ideas and everything that need blessing, improvement, because the Bible deal with talking about being fruitful and multiply. And we're looking to multiply. Dear Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask the blessing upon this food, Lord. But we ask you right now, as we are touching and agree on every business, every ministry here, even every idea that's inside of a person, Lord, bless it in a mighty way. Increase, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we ask you to bless unity the more. The more, the more, and we thank you for Pam. We pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Why don't you give the Lord a hand clap for praise? <laughs> thank him for what he's finna do right now. Unity, unity. Unity, unity. Unity, unity. Thank you for watching Unity with Pam. If you would like to be a sponsor, please contact us or visit unitywithpam.org.